Hi, I'm Emily and I'm here to be your guide to getting your stunning RegFox registration page up and running. This video will be best viewed on your laptop or desktop, but if you're on your phone, make sure to turn it sideways and pop out that video so you can see my face as large as possible. Also, we've put markers in the video timeline to help you skip around to any topic at any time. Okay, let's dive in. To build our RegFox registration page, we're gonna show you five things in this video. First, choose a registration page template, which you can modify in any way you like. Next, customize the look and branding of your registration page, and then add important content and information about your event. Of course, perform some Harry Potter wizardry with conditional logic actions. And finally, preview your registration page and move toward publishing and going live. Let's choose a great looking template. All registration pages start with a beautiful template, so feel free to find the perfect one for our event. But don't worry, you won't get stuck with a rigid looking one you can't update. All of the templates are 100% customizable, like a frozen yogurt shop with 100 flavors and ridiculous toppings. We'll be able to add and build to your heart's content. Let's select this one. We'll give a few more details about our event, including the type of event it is. And all set, let's kick off our tech conference. Let's now customize the look and branding of our registration page. When we drop into the Real View Builder, first, let's make sure to update our registration page with our own branding and logo. I mean, no one wants to have their registration provider's logo plastered all over their page. <coughs> Eventbrite. Simply hit this edit button and swap the logo here. Now let's make a few adjustments to the height and alignment and bam, we're one step closer to a custom page. Next, let's head into the banner section where we can add our own event image or video to the banner background, manage text overlays, and customize till it's just right. We'll now head to the design settings where we can select colors to pair nicely with our logo and banner, making your registration page feel like an effortless extension from your website. We're only scratching the surface of what's possible with RegFox Design, so be sure to check out our help center for more guidance. Now let's add the important content about your event. For basic and important information about the event, let's include this above the dotted line. We're going to add some event details, location, and directions here. Okay, now let's get into the meat and potatoes of our registration page. Let's head to the registration block where we can edit our registration information. This is where we'll change our registration options. You'll see here we have settings for group and individual registrations. You'll especially want to use this field if you plan to use our check-in app. Don't miss adding some key fields like sessions, waivers, and settings like membership manager if these apply. Be sure to check out our help center for help with the nitty gritty setup to get it just right for your event. Before we move on, let's go ahead and tap into that cash cow with some optional add-ons and merchandise. Below the registration block, we'll add the merchandise field so we can sell our conference t-shirts, books, meals, and other event products. These add-ons will allow your attendees to commemorate our event and help break in a bit more dough. Just as your registration page is shaping up, you may want to go one step further and add conditional logic actions. An action is like having a magic wand to make your registration page magically adjust pricing, options, and visibility of any part of your registration page. Normally, only the tech geniuses could do this kind of stuff, but you can do it all yourself. The most common way to use actions is to dynamically change the price based on any condition you set. Let's say you want to offer the first 100 registrations at 20% off. You can create an action for that. Maybe you want to increase the price 20% for the remaining 100 registrations. You can set early bird discounts, flash sales, group pricing, and much more with actions. Actions also let you control visibility of any option on the page. Perhaps you're only offering certain add-on experiences for VIP registration holders. With Actions, you can set a condition that shows the VIP experiences only when VIP registrations are selected. With Actions, you will have full control over your registration strategy and do what you previously thought was impossible. Don't forget, our Help Center can guide you further on which actions are best for your needs. The final step is saving and previewing our registration page, getting us one step closer to publishing and going live. As you build your page, hit the preview button to take a spin on your registration page, just as your attendees would experience it. We can even submit a test registration so you can experience a test confirmation page and email in preview mode. Still wanna make more edits? No problem. Return to the builder to make any additional changes until it's perfect. Oh, and don't forget to add purchase protection to your event in case a registrant runs into unforeseen challenges. When your registration page is in its perfect place, the next step is publishing and setting up your payment processor, which we'll cover in the next video. 
Will we see you there? We hope so. On to the next video.